graduating in a few days and if you didn't know that then you're probably not watching my vlog channel where I've been doing daily vlogs so I'm gonna link that down below so you guys can see my daily life graduation is such an exciting time and of course I had to decorate my cap I mean duh in this video you guys are going to see three different ways that you can decorate your cap for graduation I hope you guys can take some inspiration from these and I definitely encourage you to make them your own and kind of revisit old memories from when you're in school so that you can kind of transform this into something that reflects the past four years of your life so I hope you guys enjoy and we'll give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to my channel and we're gonna get started I want you to want me I just messed up my hair peace out Take your time planning out what you want your cap to look like because you really want it to be something that reflects you and the last four years you spent of hard work. So make sure it's something that you really love. Next, you want to get familiar and make sure you know your caps back and front so when we start decorating, it'll sit on your head the way you want it to. So just remember to work at this diagonal. I'm starting by measuring out a piece of scrapbook paper so that it fits the top of my cap. I'm just using an X-Acto knife to cut around the edge to make sure that it's a perfect fit. You're going to want to cut out a small circle from the middle of the paper where your tassel is going to be attached to the cap. Save any excess scraps so that you can use those to fill in any gaps later. Spray it down with spray adhesive and you'll be ready to move on to the next step. For this cap, I went online and looked for a picture of a Starbucks cup and a diploma. I put them into a Word document and resized them to fit the cap. Then I printed them out and with that paper, you want to add some glue to the back and glue it to a piece of thick cardstock. This is going to help them be a little bit more sturdy and look a little bit nicer on your cap. You can cut them both out and then we'll move on to adding the stickers. This part is pretty self-explanatory, but just arrange the stickers and each icon on the cap how you'd like them to go, being mindful of how this is going to sit on your head, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Once you have everything arranged on the cap how you want it, make sure to take a little bit of hot glue to each item and glue it down just in case it's windy that day or whatever. You never know what's gonna happen and you don't want this to mess up your graduation or any of your pictures. So just make sure to add a little bit of hot glue to everything. The next cap can be done pretty much the same way. Cut out the scrapbook paper, the circle for the tassel, spray it down with adhesive, and then find any icons you wanna put on. This one is Clueless themed, which I think is super cute. So I'm going to be printing out the Clueless icon, cutting that out again, and gluing it to cardstock to make it more sturdy. Carefully decide where you want everything to go, and then glue everything down along with the stickers so nothing comes off. Remember, you can follow these techniques for any sort of cap that you want to do. You don't have to do these different themes, but I think these are really good options if you are into like really pop culture stuff. This last cap is the rhinestone cap. These are super popular because they look so great on the field when you're graduating. So I'm doing a sorority for this one, but you can do anything you want. Cut out the letters that you want to use for your cap. I'm using Delta Zeta, so anyone represent what what. Um, and then just place those on your cap and trace around them with a pen. Just you want to use something light so that you don't see it at the end. Take your smallest rhinestones and add one to each point on the letter because this will help to kind of guide you when you're placing all the rest of the rhinestones. The trick to making this turn out really well is to use your smaller rhinestones to outline the letter and go bigger as you come towards the middle. So that's my trick for this. It's really simple though and it turns out so good. So if you decide to make this cap or any of the caps from this video, make sure to tweet them to me because I would love to see them. If any of you guys are graduating too, congratulations and I hope you guys enjoy this video and will subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!